So when I do have a panic attack, I just can lift it up. I dig it. Well, what's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to the channel. It has been what it seems like far too long since I've been out here doing a camping episode, uh, especially after I kind of alluded to the fact that I was done truck camping, but uh, I guess I'm not ready to hang the hat up quite yet. So I'm out here at one of my favorite, favorite little spots close to the house, favorite little site. So it just stopped raining today. Uh, it's been raining all day long. It's supposed to rain the rest of the day and all through the night. So we're definitely going to probably get a little bit wet on this episode and I don't have a camper shell anymore. So I don't know if you folks uh, saw, I'm sure you did, but uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Crazy Quady drove down from Nebraska earlier this week and he picked up the camper shell from me. So it's pretty cool that that, uh, that shell gets to live on, uh, especially with, with Mike over at, uh, on his channel. So that's going to be great. I and mean, I couldn't have picked a, a better place to see that that camper shell go to so awesome for mike to get it uh that was a long drive for him to come down and pick it up but uh now that he's got my shell man i uh we got to come up with some type of uh collab video maybe meet in kansas or something but anyway folks uh let me show you the setup of what we're gonna be uh camping out of tonight it's pretty elaborate i'm sure you probably got the gist of it by the thumbnail or the title of the video i don't know what it is yet but it's gonna take a while to get set up and with time change it's gonna get dark here pretty quick so i need to get going so the setup tonight is that <laughs> so i don't know i for some odd crazy silly reason i thought it'd be fun to just literally sleep in the back of my truck tonight my actual plans were I didn't know it was going to rain today. So I was going to, you know, sleep under the stars, roll this uh, tonneau cover back up and and kind of enjoy nature a little bit. But it's it's going to rain. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, it's going to be interesting. But I, oh, and to keep me warm and maybe make me go to sleep a little bit better, some peanut butter whiskey. We'll probably hit that pretty soon tonight. Well, I guess before it starts to actually rain quite a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and get my bed set up so it doesn't get all wet in here. That wouldn't be good. What am I doing? What am I doing? Pillows, pillows. Stove. Okay. So I don't have a bed anymore. I got rid of it. So this is gonna be my mattress. It was the thickest blanket I could find. Cause even though I do have this bed rug, it's not very plush. I don't know what I'm doing. This is uh this will be fun. Be one of those things I'll remember probably. How do you get this thing off? Alright. Oh, a pillow.
Oh gosh. <laughs> that is camp set up for this evening. Yeah, I don't know how this is gonna work out, but I have my head down here because I have a feeling I'm gonna have to sleep with that tonneau cover completely closed. And if I wake up in the middle of the night, feeling a little bit claustrophobic, I can get out quickly instead of being back underneath there. <clears throat> yeah, so I can actually lay, lay in here. Oh my gosh, not a whole lot of headroom, but in the event I uh, have a slight heart attack, I can just push this up. It's perfect. I don't see what could go wrong at all. I think it's whiskey time already. Only the finest china. Some orange solo cups. So the folks out there that actually enjoy fine whiskey have probably already changed the channel. But this stuff's pretty good. My wife loves it. So that makes it sound even worse, but it's screwball whiskey, screwball peanut butter whiskey. And it honestly tastes like peanut butter with a kick. I dig it. Well, let me kind of show you folks what this site's all about. Again, this is one of my favorite spots and didn't really have a whole guaranteed plan I was gonna camp tonight, but this was open. So I snagged it, thought it'd be fun to come out and try sleeping in the back of my truck tonight, but cheers to the peanut butter whiskey. I did bring some firewood, so hopefully we can we can keep the rain, rain away, because I haven't had a fire since I think last October, so probably over a year since we've been able to have fires here in Texas. Uh, the heat just burn ban everywhere. But this site's kind of, it's right on the water, and you got all these rock ledges here. Oh, you can't see. So normally it's just a beautiful little little spot. It's back here in the corner in the back of a loop. Pretty quiet. I do have one neighbor up here. They're crazy enough, but they are in an RV, which is would be a little bit nicer. But you can walk all the way down these trails and you can scoot our way down here to the water. Folks, I'm, <laughs> I know I just got here, but I'm pretty hungry already, and it's going to get dark quick now that time changed, and I think I'm going to take advantage of it not raining and go ahead and get my grill, grill going so I don't have to <laughs> cook inside my truck, because that probably wouldn't go over too well. So I think that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to get some dinner cracking. Everything's just wet. Won't be sitting on that table. Let's see. <laughs> I brought a fan. Whoops. So our main side dish is gonna be some wild rice, but I've never made like real rice. It's always been the boiled in a bag rice. So we need the uh, one and two thirds cup of water. So there's eight ounces in a cup. Man, I didn't know I was gonna have to do math out here. All right, well, let's see if we can get this thing lit.
I'd say so. Should be good. And this says special seasonings to a boil. I guess the special seasonings are in the box. There's special seasoning and wild rice. All right. That I was not aware of. I can feel it starting to starting to drizzle again, naturally, as soon as I start to cook. But nothing, some uh, some whiskey can't help. And this says it takes around 20 to 30 minutes to cook this rice. So I do have an umbrella in the truck. I might have to go get an umbrella and cook out here. It's kind of the last thing that I want wanted to have to do, but I'm hungry. Find the rice. So the funny thing is this has to cover, but I didn't bring the glass top uh, because I don't like bringing glass out here, except if it's in a whiskey bottle or, or my wife's glass pot tops, because I will break them. So hopefully, I don't know, hopefully it'll, uh, it'll do okay without covering it up. We shall see. Well, folks, the rice is looking decent. Uh, the water's starting to kind of soak into the rice a little bit, but yeah, I think having a lid definitely would help, but it's going to be edible. So tonight's dinner is going to be teriyaki marinated pork chops. We've actually been marinating these since last night, so they should be uh, nice and tasty as it continues to rain. So we find the best way to kind of pack meat, <laughs> the best way to transport meat is uh, in these vacuum sealed bags instead of Ziploc bags. Oh yeah. We'll put this on the fire. I haven't seen my breath out here camping in a year. I love it. So much better than the heat. But this is just that annoying rain, that drizzle. If it's gonna rain, just rain, dang it. Pour. Watch. But it's just that that just annoying, constant drizzle junk. Hopefully I can get this stuff cooked up before it does pour. It's gonna turn out fine. Well, all right, guys, it's getting rainier and darker. I think dinner's about ready. Plate these up. Teriyaki marinated pork chops, long grain, wild rice. Now I gotta go figure out where I'm gonna eat this because I can't sit down here. 
uh, I guess right here. All right, so yeah. When I woke up this morning, I never envisioned eating pork chops in the rain on a grill. But rice is good. Rice is really good. Check out these pork chops. Mm. Perfection. Just like a steak. So, for anyone that's been around the channel for a while, since at least this summer, you might remember that I was doing a little cycling challenge. Well, today, I passed a pretty big milestone. Uh, this morning, uh, during my ride, I noticed that I was over a thousand miles. So I actually ended the ride up at 1,017 miles. And I started this, my first ride that I was keeping track of was on July 26th. So not too bad for someone that hasn't ridden in a long time and uh, kind of starting to see the benefits of it. So it's pretty cool, but I promised I'll do a six month update, but we're not six months yet. But pork chops are good. I'm just trying to scarf this down before it downpours. A little bit of rainwater, some peanut butter whiskey. Guys, I'm literally going to just inhale this as fast as I can. And then I have no idea what's next. I wanted a fire. I don't know if that's going to work out, but I'll see you folks here in a little bit. Hmm. All right, gang. I am bound and determined to have a fire. It's been way too long since I've been able to. <laughs> it is much darker than what that camera is picking up. I'm going to be using these uh, Blackbeard fire starters, if you can see it. Things are amazing. You just kind of twist them. Get the cotton coming out a little bit. Give them a light. like that. And I'm going to do a couple of them because this was going to get wet real quick.
It's been far too long since I've had one of these things. I've missed it. Well, all right, gang, <laughs> it's getting cold. Let me get this off. It is getting cold and it's starting to rain just a little bit more. All my camera equipment is just getting soaked. Fire's kind of dwindling down. So what do you do when you truck camp without a shell? You hang out in the truck. <laughs> I guess I'm just kind of delaying the inevitable because I, I am not ready to go back in there and lay down. It is only eight o'clock. So luckily, I got my iPad in here, so I downloaded a few movies. Now I'm gonna see if I can get comfortable enough, leave my seat back and maybe watch a movie in here, I don't know, but I am I am for sure not ready to go start my claustrophobia back there. So we'll see how this works out, if I can get, uh, get this set up somehow to watch a movie. I got a few snacks in here, so we should be good to go, but. We got do 13 hours that's pretty good flick let's see that's not bad that works let's see if I can get this seat it's like a movie right it's like a movie theater awesome I'm trying to pump myself up for this. Well, that movie was uh, quite intense. I've seen it once or twice before, but uh, I forgot about it. So yeah, I watched the whole movie sitting here in my truck. Uh, again, delaying the inevitable of heading in the back, but I'm pretty tired now, I, I think. So, uh, I guess it's time to get back there. It's here we go. <sighs> home sweet home. So, this is about the time when I asked myself, what the edit was I thinking? Oh, this is, this is just fantastic. <laughs> what what am I doing? Uh. Oh. oh my goodness. <sighs> wow. It's like being buried alive. It's exactly what being buried alive, I would imagine, feels like. Let me put you guys down here. <laughs> what? What is going on? What am I doing? I don't know. Let's see if I can even 
think I'm gonna get comfortable. So honestly, I mean, I can tell you that, uh, yeah, this is not gonna be comfortable. Not much padding, but if I sleep on my back, I should be fine. Uh, gang, this is it for the setup for tonight. I don't know if you can tell how close this, so here's the ceiling. So when I do have a panic attack, I just can lift it up. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am bonkers. Well, folks, yeah, I don't know. There's nothing else to say. I feel like I should say something else, but I'm laying in the back of my truck. Nothing else to do, so I'm just going to hope the morning comes soon, honestly. And I don't think it will. I think it's going to take quite a while to get here. But hey, at least I get to test out. Oh, I can tell you that this topper hasn't leaked at all. It's literally rained all day. And I don't feel any wetness in here at all. So kudos to the little cheapo. Not cheap, but bargain little hard tono cover so yeah i got my little got my light set up little power station i do have one more uh one more movie to watch war of the worlds figured that would be a perfect movie for sleeping in a confined little space so yeah Good night. pretty excited that it's 5 30 in the morning oh that was uh that was an experience for sure didn't sleep all that terrible i guess except my my hips hurt because i'm a side sleeper and this is this is not padded at all so my hips are pretty sore and it's fairly chilly what is it 44 so there's a a condensation I think I might lay here for just a little bit longer. I don't feel like getting out from under this uh, sleeping bag right now. But.
having a jacket would have been a little bit nicer. It's pretty chilly out here right now. Well, that's pack up. So, I think we're about an hour away from sunrise. I can barely see some blue up there. It's probably not getting caught up on camera, but I don't see any point in laying back down in there any longer than I have to, because yeah, it just wasn't the most comfortable. But I'm gonna let this coffee brew a little bit longer, and we're gonna head home. Well, all right, gang. Thanks for tagging along with me on this little experiment of mine. It was uh, memorable for sure. I'm not too sure I'll be doing it very often, but I'm glad I got it done. I've been wanting to do this, so let's get in here and get some heat going. So I think I'm just gonna kind of call it quits on this video but where's my heat i need heat so hopefully we'll see you very soon i got one of the main components of my little new camping setup uh delivered yesterday so we're making headway a little slower than i kind of wanted to but uh we're, de we're definitely getting there so i'll be showing that along the way as we go but anyway folks thanks for watching and we will see you here very shortly. Take care.